Welcome back to my channel and another video, my friends. I'm sitting in the parking lot of Whole Foods currently. I'm about to go grocery shopping. I'm on my phone, so I'm not sure. And I don't have like the brand fancy phone. Mine's like a iPhone 10 or the X or whatever it's called. But anyways, I don't want to bring my big camera in because that feels super awkward. <laughs> so at least with my phone, I can just kind of like whip it out and take some footage. So I'm going to show you what I'm getting at my grocery haul. I'm eating predominantly a medical medium style protocol. And since I've been filming videos for you guys again, yay! Um, it's really helping me stick to my plan. So I'm really, really excited by that. I will show you what I pick up, walk around the grocery store a little bit, show you a thorough food haul when I get home and then maybe a little bit of what I eat. I guess we'll see how the day goes. Yeah, I'm excited. I love grocery shopping so much. With the pandemic, I was ordering food and having it delivered to my house, which is such a freaking blessing, right? But I don't know. I feel like it's time to venture out a little bit. I am vaccinated. I am going to be wearing a mask. I clean my hands. I do all the things, but I'm trying to get out of the house more, <laughs> a bit more in a safe way, at least because, you know, no matter what's happening, like the pandemic is still here. The pandemonium is still here. But anyways, it's hot in the car. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, the day completely got away from me. <sighs> what I find really challenging for myself right now is if I go and do outside errands, and today was grocery shopping and I had a few other things to do, and then I try and come home and work, like it's hard for me to even start to work again. It's hard for me to do much of anything. So if you have any tips or tricks on how to function like a normal human when you still have outside things to do, please let me know. Or should I just call it a wash and have my, ugh, ugh. it's frustrating. But anyways, enough about that. <laughs> I'm going to show you the groceries. You saw most of what I got. I have a couple of things. Just this. 
so you saw most of what I got at the grocery store but I wanted to kind of explain two bags of potatoes I steamed them up I steamed like this whole five pound bag for my husband um, and he'll eat it throughout the week and he takes it to work for lunch it's just easier to have it pre-prepped and then I just get one for me as well I'll just like have anywhere from like three to five potatoes sometimes I'll have that as a meal they're super filling they're so good they're antiviral do not be afraid of eating white potatoes oh! so I don't eat a lot of yogurt this will last me for a while it doesn't go bad I, I've had it for like up to two I can keep it in the fridge for like up to two weeks um it's an organic dairy-free coconut yogurt it just has coconut milk water organic coconut meat organic cane sugar um, and then it has tapioca starch live cultures I use it and I'll like have like a tablespoon of it at a time and like make a little salad dressing out of it or something like that so that's kind of what I use it for I don't have like bowls of it but for three-fourths of a cup it's only 2.5 grams of fat and medical medium protocol is very low to minimal fat so this is what I got this isn't part of his protocol this is something that I kind of I don't know if I would call it a loophole something that is kind of compliant I don't really <laughs> so <laughs> that's where we stand bananas I don't care if these are organic or not we go through a lot of bananas so I got three bunches we'll probably get like three or four more by the time the weekend is done my husband loves them he loves banana and ice cream I put them in my smoothies banana bread um, yeah organic cucumbers I know these aren't the most sustainable bags I forgot mine at home uh, so this is what it is lemons and limes for my daily lemon lime water I make I use this in replace of vinegar I do not use vinegar I try not to eat anything with vinegar so this is my vinegar substitute and I love lemon and or lime water in the morning every morning with a little honey and I've been really digging having um, some wild blueberry juice in there as well so like a wild blueberry juice honey lemon water oh that's so good pasta sauce because sometimes I'm working out of pattern. I'm working through patterns of not wanting to feed myself. So the shortcut is awesome. There's very few things I can actually find uh, that's processed and pre-made that I can actually eat with my body not freaking out and on medical medium protocol. So this has all clean ingredients. It's non-GMO. It only has one gram of fat for half a cup pretty good it's very simple it doesn't have garlic in it I'm very sensitive to garlic so yeah Fuji apples they are my favorite um, I honestly just eat these as a snack with dates cut them up it's a super awesome treat this is rice pasta it's gluten-free capellini I hope I said that right um, so it's pretty much like angel hair or thinner pasta but this is my favorite I love it I'll just honestly boil some of this up put some sauce on, put onion powder, like a few of my seasonings, put vegetables in it, call it a day. It's a really quick meal. I never get sick of it, which is awesome. And it doesn't take a lot of work, which is also awesome when I'm trying to break through these patterns of, well, if you want to know what I'm talking about, <laughs> go read my last vlog that I posted. Uh, I just posted this week and my last video that I just posted last week as well. This is a total shortcut. I don't normally eat a lot of nuts, but for one serving, it's three grams of fat, and it's almond flour, bananas, coconut sugar, arrowroot, coconut flour, baking soda, cinnamon, sea salt. So all clean ingredients, totally on medical medium protocol. Maybe this might not be. I would, I think he would recommend making it with like oat flour and millet flour. But again, sometimes you just don't have the energy. I love making something like this. I mean, I would prefer to make it from scratch, let's be honest. But again, energy is a big thing for me. It's a hot commodity, and sometimes I just don't have it. But I would like to eat this for like breakfast sometimes if I'm not making, making like potato hash browns or stuff like that. So yeah, and this already has banana in it. Has anybody tried this? I have not tried this before. Let me know. I got a bunch of cilantro. This is for my medical heavy met whoa what is it heavy metal detox smoothie 
from Medical Medium. I love that smoothie. It's very simple. My stomach loves it. This stuff helps to remove toxic heavy metals that we all have, that we get from our, our environment, from everything. Antibiotics, vaccines, they're just everywhere. They're everywhere. So I try to be preventative. I, I am being preventative by combating that by adding smoothie and dulse and the spirulina and the barley juice grass powder to my smoothies and that stuff helps to remove and the wild blueberries that stuff helps to remove all this stuff from your body the purple kale or red kale they call it but to me I mean it's a purple stem whatever um I'm just gonna like cut this cut them up clean them saute them in water add some seasonings maybe some onions and have it as like a side throughout the week I'll just batch it and then be able to put it in things. Uh, yeah, I got a bunch of tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, these are organic. All my vegetables I get are organic. The few exception of organic things I don't get, like I said, would be the bananas, the, this sauce isn't organic. Um, it's best to make everything yourself, but again, I try to have a few things that I can just grab and go. Smoothies are a really easy grab to go for me. Bananas are even easier. I'm just really trying to help myself out <laughs> as I move along, as I gain more energy. But with these tomatoes, I will put them in my, what have I been calling them? I call them unicorn bowls. Everybody has a different name for their bowls. Nourish bowls, goddess bowls, Buddha bowls. I like to call them unicorn bowls. It's pretty much a grain, a ton of vegetables, and a ton of greens all mixed together with some type of yummy healthy sauce. That and I also make homemade hot sauce. So that will be for some of this. And butter lettuce. <laughs> These are, this is my favorite lettuce. Like I just love it. I love, it feels soft in your mouth. It's like crunchy, but then not too crunchy. It holds because of the way the leaves are shaped. I feel like it holds your sauces better. Oh, it's just so refreshing. I love them. You can use them as little boats and put stuff inside of them. And then also I got arugula. This is so good. Like if I'm making my pasta, I'll just add a bunch of this on top. And it's so good. Such a nice balance with this peppery spiciness. And it's a green, so it's also, you know, getting that stuff in. I love to put this, I love to put them all on my bowls. These are probably my favorite lettuces. Some broccoli sprouts. These, these things are so good. They pack a punch full of nutrients for you. They're a blend of broccoli and clover sprouts. I'll put these on everything. My bowls, my wraps, my salads. So get you some if you have not had some. They're really easy to sprout and make on your own. Half of our stuff is in storage because we moved to an apartment before we moved next year and I don't want to rebuy my sprouting stuff. I had everything separated for the packers, but you know, it's not a perfect world and I was one person managing a whole ginormous house. <laughs> so, but if you can sprout them on your own, do that. But if you can't, here you go. Last but not least, baby broccoli. Sometimes it's just fun to eat the baby broccoli instead of the bigger broccoli. And what I do with these, I just put them on a sheet pan. I'll just drizzle water on to get it all wet, put a bunch of seasonings on, mix it up, stick it in an oven until it cooks. I add a ton of lemon juice as well. Oh, it's so good. Uh, yeah, and then I just put them again with my bowls on the side, salads, whatever. The whole point is just to eat as low fat as possible and a ton of whole foods, vegetables. The only grains I pretty much eat, I'll eat organic brown rice, I'll eat millet and oats. I don't often have quinoa. I prefer millet to quinoa. Um, yeah, and I eat a ton of potatoes and squashes. I just put a ton of seasonings on everything. I will water saute or put water on it before I put it in the oven or the air fryer. Yeah, it's taken me a while to not cook with oil anymore. That was a huge adjustment for me because I was coming off of keto. And honestly, like, I don't want to get into it. <laughs> oil is really good. Like, it makes your food taste really good, but they're very empty calories. They're not a whole food. And it takes a long time for oil and that type of fat to leave your body. And it's just... Like why? Like my liver, I'm trying to heal my liver. My liver has been sluggish and the oil makes my liver, it counteracts everything I'm trying to do to move forward. So 
that's how I roast. No oil, no fat. Um, yeah, wow. I feel like I got so much more. Oh, I did, hold on. I got some flowers because a girl always, a girl or human, a person always deserves flowers. They're some of my favorite things. I get them weekly, just about, or sometimes two weeks, depending on how long the flowers last for. Um, I like Whole Foods flowers because they are sourced for good. They're just fair trade, ethically sourced, so it makes me happy. They're gorgeous. I love them. They make the house look really nice. Oh, yeah. And these are such a beautiful, vibrant color, like an orangey red. I just couldn't resist. And they were the last ones. That's what I got. Sorry I didn't show you anything that I was eating today. Um, like I said, when I'm doing outside errands, it's very hard. I feel like I'm a leaf blowing in the wind and it's very hard for me to find solid ground. So I ran a bunch of errands. I had a pre-made lunch that I had made the day before for breakfast. I didn't bring, oh, I brought dates with me, but like I was so just, I was just running around and forgot to eat them and then came home, laid around for a bit because there was no more energy, probably because I didn't eat anything, <laughs> because I didn't properly plan. But again, I just feel like this stage of my life right now, I feel like I've cleared a lot of the heavy shadow work for who knows how long, hopefully for a while, because your girl is tired but also trying to refine my footing again and get back to taking steps on solid ground. So it is what it is, I'm trying to be as compassionate and love myself as much as I can because yeah, it just is what it is. But I'm going to put all this stuff away. I'm going to make some tea. I'll probably have an apple with some dates. Yeah, and I will see you guys in my next video. It'll most likely be what I eat in a day because they're really helpful for me. The days that I have to film for that, I really eat like on every two hours for my adrenal glands to keep them happy and healthy. I'm on point. But yeah, Thank you so much for listening. If you're still here, I really appreciate you. Please let me know any of your tips and tricks on how to try to plan for things like planning for food. Do I have to make everything at nighttime? How do you move forward through something when you're feeling super exhausted? Yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, check out my latest blog post. I'll link it down in the description box. Also check out my last YouTube video. It goes a bit more into depth about my healing journey and where I've been, how far, like, where I have been and where I'm here. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for listening. I love you all so very much. And make sure you are commenting, liking, and subscribing because it helps to grow this channel and grow our community. So let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys have any suggestions or if you just want to chat and say hi, I'm always here. I'm usually on Instagram more, so I'll make sure to leave that in the description box as well if you want me to like talk to me quicker. But YouTube, I'm working on posting once a week to rebuild my sea legs and getting grounded and being consistent and showing up no matter what it looks like because I've developed a habit of hermiting, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's something that I don't, I just want to... I want to be able to show up throughout all of life's chapters. Anywho, <laughs> I love you all so very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!